Hey everyone, Chris Rowe here. If you don't know me yet, I worked on Wall Street for like 26 years as a money manager, a trader, high net worth money manager, broker. Now I help educate individual investors like you. And today I wanna to discuss trends. I'm gonna be sharing how to spot trends. I'm gonna be sharing why trends are the most important factors to understanding price behavior. In fact, I'll say, don't make another trade until you watch this video. And I wanna hear your thoughts too, so don't forget, like, subscribe, comment below. Trending markets as opposed to sideways moving markets mean everything to investor because it means that money is exchanging hands and investors want to participate in the exchange of that money. I know I do. Most investors, especially individual investors, have portfolios that are biased to the upside. So a bullish trend like this is exactly what they're hoping for. Bullish just means prices are going up. A market will continue to trend up or down until it doesn't anymore. It seems pretty simple, right? We don't try to call a top or a bottom. We simply manage our risk when the market reverses that trend. Just ride the trend, very easy. Personally, I think risk management is extremely important right now. With so much hype surrounding the market as it breaks new highs, it becomes paramount to clearly see what's happening in the market. Most people can't see what's happening in the market, even those professional talking heads that you see on TV. So let's break down trends and what they are. It's impossible to overstate the importance of viewing the financial markets properly. Again, most people can't do it. That's why my followers make money in the market. There's a lot of money to be made in the market. There's a difference between staying the course during volatile times or being shaken out of winning investments before the market simply charges higher again. That's why I place so much importance on shaping your understanding of the physics of the markets, sometimes even more than we do on individual trading ideas. I mean, the physics of the market is the most important thing. Unlike the ever-evolving financial markets, education and skill are not moving targets, so pay close attention. Nobody can ever take this education away from you. You could use it to make a lot of money. The world's greatest market technicians say, the best indicator of future price behavior is current price behavior. I know that sounds crazy. That begins with the fundamental truth, the trend is your friend. So when charting stocks or ETFs, you know, exchange traded funds, anything, futures, commodities, currencies, anything, identifying the trend is where it all begins. Trend lines are at the heart of every million dollar idea that I've had that I've brought to my followers. The trend is the direction in which the market is moving. The market's, the market's trends are characterized by a series of zigzags that kind of resemble a series of waves or peaks and troughs. The direction of those peaks and troughs is what signifies the trend. There are three types of trends. Very, very simple. Uptrends, downtrends, and horizontal trends, the sideways market. Sideways is still a trend. So an uptrend shows a series of higher highs or peaks and higher lows or troughs. A downtrend shows the opposite, lower highs, lower lows. A horizontal trend, AKA a neutral trend, shows horizontal or equal peaks and troughs and reflects a period of indecision. This is also called a consolidation phase. It's very important to remember that. Now stocks or indexes trade sideways as the bulls and bears slug it out. Eventually the previous uptrend or the previous downtrend continues or moves in the opposite direction. As you study charts, you're gonna find that many trends can all exist at the same time. Some trends tend to overlap each other and there are trends within trends, within trends, within trends. For example, after identifying a long-term trend, you'll find intermediate-term trends within it, zigzagging. Zoom in and you'll find short-term trends within those intermediate-term trends, and so on and so forth. The more you zoom in, the more trends you'll find. Every trend is a small part of the next larger trend. A lot of investors out there make a huge mistake, very expensive mistake, by failing to realize how critical it is to identify the trend appropriate to the time period that they're trading in as well as the next larger trend, okay? So this holographic view of the market is key because the larger trends have a major impact on the smaller trends within them. Therefore, whatever trend a trader uses for timing purposes, intermediate term, short term, whatever, he or she must always trend in the direction of the next bigger trend. Say you had to guess what the weather will be like in three days from now. Knowing what's happened in the past few days, the short term trend, certainly helps, but knowing what season you're in, the medium term trend or intermediate term trend, will easily help just as much. And knowing what part of the world you're in, the long term trend helps too. It's the biggest trend. You can profit from a securities decline 
with bearish moves like short selling a stock or buying a put option. Bearish means it's moving lower. Bears attack down with their claws. On the flip side, you can profit from an advance with bullish moves like buying a stock or call option. Bulls attack up with their horns, up, bullish. Smart investors will buy a security or an in the money call option on the security when the market's oversold in an uptrend. They can sell short a security or buy an in the money put option on the security to profit from the decline when the market's overbought but within a bigger downtrend. So repeating myself is probably even more annoying for me than it is for you, but I can't stress to you enough how important this is. So I will repeat it. When viewing any chart, it pays to zoom in and zoom back out. Zoom out to identify the direction of the next larger trend and the next one after that. Zoom in to find the best timing, the best execution on the trades. The best way to approach the trading process is to start with the long range charts, the big charts with a time frame of several years, and then work inward toward the shorter term charts, zooming in like the one year chart, and then the six month chart, and then the three month chart. It also is helpful to start with monthly and weekly charts for the very big long term view. And then check out the daily chart when you zoom in, which will be the chart that you base your trading decisions on. Your timing is more of a short term thing. Then even more precise timing, finding the best time of the day to enter your trade, Check out the intraday chart. It'll show you all the zigs and zags throughout the day. Checking the intraday chart is especially useful when it comes to trading options. That's because a 2% move in the stock could mean a 10 or 20% difference on the option. The definitions of the different trends timeframes are also somewhat fluid. Let's start with the three basic trends that we'll focus on. Near term trend, AKA short term trend equals days to weeks. Intermediate term trend means weeks to months. Long-term trend means months to years. You want to profit from that trend. So remember, this is basic law of physics. A body in motion tends to stay in motion until a force or obstacle impedes or changes that motion. Trends usually continue. They hardly ever reverse. Very seldom do they reverse. Experience shows that a similar principle acts on stock prices by acting on human behavior. Trend is your friend. The main benefit of, char of charting is that it lets us identify trends early and then act on them by trading in the direction of that trend. The idea isn't to try to anticipate what the market will do next. That's a loser's game. Simply instead, go with what the market is currently doing. Your focus should never be on why the market's doing what it's doing or why it might do what it's doing. It should always be on what's occurring now, what prices are doing in relation to the current trend. Too many traders out there, they lose money. They try to anticipate or guess what the market's next direction will be. Sucker's game, don't do it. Charts show us the market's current condition. They reveal pictures of bullish or bearish psychology and the rest of the trending to keep things moving in the current direction. So human nature doesn't change. That's why technical analysis works. This is why when it comes to charts, history repeats itself. It's just price history. And that's why the key to coming as close as we can to knowing the future is understanding where we are in relation to the past. The investor who can correctly interpret exactly what the market is saying and act swiftly will only become more and more comfortable and more and more confident with experience. All right, that's it for me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment with your thoughts. Ask me some questions. I would love to hear from you. Thank you. This is Chris Rowe, and I'll see you on the next one.